Applied Engineering's PC Transporter. Welcome to PC Transporter, transporting your Apple and you to the world of MS-DOS. This video was designed to help you install the card from the setting up of your workspace to actually booting MS-DOS on your Apple. What you can do from there is almost limitless. To install and use PC Transporter, you'll need an Apple 2GS, 2E, or 2 Plus with at least 64K of Apple II RAM installed. You will need the PC Transporter software included with the PC Transporter package. You must have IBM PC DOS version 2.0 or later or Microsoft MS DOS version 2.0 or later. The IBM system disks are not included with the PC Transporter package. You can get them from many IBM dealers and software suppliers. You must have at least one Apple compatible disk drive such as the disk 2 5 and a quarter inch drive or the Apple compatible 3 and a half inch drive with a controller. This drive will connect directly to your Apple and allow you to boot the PC transporter startup disk. You must also have at least one PC transporter compatible disk drive, either a 5 and a quarter inch double sided drive like the trans drive or a 3 and a half inch drive such as the Apple disk 3.5 drive. This drive will connect to PC Transporter and allow you to boot MS-DOS. Do not connect a Unidisc 3.5 inch drive to the PC Transporter. You will also need a PC Transporter compatible video monitor. Compatible monitors are discussed briefly in this video and in greater detail in the user's manual. Two plus owners, you must have an IBM style keyboard. Your 2 Plus must be ProDOS compatible and it must be FCC approved. The video is divided into separate sections, the beginnings of which are marked by dividers. These dividers will allow you to fast forward or scan past sections that do not apply to your installation. Feel free to stop the tape and review at any time. Now, let the installation begin. Setting up the work area. Good lighting is important for installing the PC transporter. We recommend a swing arm desk lamp, but any bright overhead light source will do. You will need plenty of elbow room and an electrical outlet nearby. The main part of the computer, called the system unit, must remain plugged into an electrical socket throughout the installation. Preparing the computer. Power down all of your equipment and clear off the top of the Apple system unit. Remove the monitor, disk drives, and any other equipment that may be on top of your computer. Don't disconnect these yet unless you need to. Now remove the cover of the computer. Two GS users need to press in the two latches at the rear of the system unit with your forefingers while pushing up on the side of the case with your thumbs. Two E and two plus users use your fingertips to pull up and back the rear edge of the computer's cover. Set the top out of the way. Touch the power supply case to remove any static electricity from your body. Do not skip this step. Static electricity can damage your computer and its boards. Now disconnect all the peripherals and cards currently connected to your Apple. It is important that you follow the manufacturer's instructions for removing each peripheral and card. Applied engineering will not be responsible for damage to your other cards or peripherals. You may want to make a list detailing where your peripherals and cards are attached and label each with a piece of tape to avoid confusion when you're ready to reinstall them. Once removed, put them in a safe, out-of-the-way place. You won't need them again until after you have finished installing the hardware. Two GS users need to disconnect the 2GS keyboard. Again, touch the power supply to remove static electricity from your body. Take PC Transporter out of its eddy static wrapper holding it by the edges. Place the card chip side up on top of the anti static bag and lay the bag flat on top of the computer's motherboard. Be careful not to touch the card's gold fingers or chips during the installation. Keep the cables and other transporter hardware within easy reach. 
It is important to note that the cables in this video may differ cosmetically from the cables included with your PC transporter. However, they are virtually the same and you can locate and install them as described. Now you are ready to go to the section of this video for your brand of Apple II. The 2GS section immediately follows this section. Installation instructions for the 2E follow the 2GS section. 2 Plus users can use the 2E section as an installation guide. 